The Ethiopian Highlands is a breathtaking landscape where plateaus kiss the sky and deep canyons cradle age-old secrets. It's a land where history has been carved not just by humans with their ancient religious monoliths and tales of bygone kingdoms, but also by nature's own magnificent creations. Amidst the rugged terrains, sweeping valleys, and cloud-piercing peaks, there's one resident that truly embodies the spirit of these altitudes. The Galata Baboon. More than just a primate, the Galata is a symbol of the wild beauty and resilience of this region, captivating the hearts of both locals and visitors alike. Despite its name, the gelata isn't technically a baboon. It belongs to the genus Theropithecus, making it the last surviving species of a once widespread group of grass-grazing primates. Its closest relatives, the baboons, are classified under the genus Papio. Named the Bleeding Heart Monkey, the gelata's most eye-catching feature is its vibrant red patch of skin on the chest. But nature rarely does anything without purpose. In females, this chest patch undergoes changes corresponding to their reproductive cycle. When a female is most fertile, her patch becomes intensely vivid, signaling her readiness to mate. This natural indicator assists males in identifying potential mates, streamlining the complex dance of primate courtship. While most monkeys prefer the warmth of tropical forests or the diverse canopy of jungles, the Galatas stand out as a captivating exception. These primates are the sole grass-eating monkeys on the planet, dedicating a considerable portion of their day to the meticulous task of foraging. Navigating the vast Ethiopian highlands, their range extends from elevations of 1,800 meters to an impressive 4,400 meters. At such dizzying heights, the atmosphere isn't just thin, it's also chillingly cold, especially when night descends or clouds blanket the sky. But nature has equipped the Galatas superbly. Their thick fur not only lends them a majestic appearance, but also serves as an insulating cloak against the biting cold. Plus, their strong and agile limbs are perfectly suited for both climbing steep terrains and sifting through grasses. Giladas have an incredible way of communicating. They use a wide range of sounds, making them one of the most vocal primates out there. From distinct vocal bursts to unique wobbles and moans, each sound has its purpose. These can be mating calls, alerting others about potential danger, or simply interacting within their group. Understanding these vocalizations gives us a glimpse into the intricate social world of the Galata, where effective communication is key. Galatas, with their rich social lives, create a spectacle on the grasslands that's nothing short of fascinating. Each Galata group, called a reproductive unit, typically consists of one main male, several females, and their playful youngsters. These units are like close-knit families where members share strong bonds, helping and looking out for each other. But the marvel doesn't end there. Multiple such units gather, forming massive groups known as bands. These bands can sometimes be so large that they include over a thousand gelatas. It's like a never-ending festival, with gelatas of all ages mingling, playing, and foraging together. The dynamics within these bands are captivating. As galatas move across the expansive grasslands, they communicate, establish territories, and even engage in friendly skirmishes. 
The younger ones can often be seen playing games, learning essential skills that will serve them as they grow. Meanwhile, the adults keep a vigilant eye out for any potential threats, ensuring the safety of their clan. This complex, multi-layered social structure not only showcases their intelligence, but also the depth of their relationships. Male Gelatas sport a lustrous dark mane that flows down their back rivaling the majestic look of a lion. This mane, paired with their striking red chest patch, makes them one of the most photogenic primates around. Every evening, as darkness engulfs the vast Ethiopian highlands, the Galatas make a calculated journey towards their unconventional bedrooms. The sheer cliffs that dot the landscape. It's a sight to behold as these primates, skilled in vertical navigation, find their spots on these near vertical surfaces. The motivation behind this daring nightly escapade is safety. The cliffs provide a near impregnable fortress against ground-based threats, especially the stealthy hyenas that roam the highlands. By positioning themselves high off the ground, Galatas ensure a night of undisturbed sleep, ready to face the challenges of the next day. Galatas aren't just another face in the Ethiopian highlands, they're active participants in shaping and maintaining the landscape. By feeding predominantly on grass, these primates inadvertently act as ecological landscapers. Their regular grazing activities ensure that no single type of grass overruns the terrain, creating an unintentional check and balance system. This not only promotes a diverse mix of grass species, but also supports a plethora of other organisms that rely on such biodiversity. In this way, the Galatas are not mere residents but essential stewards, playing a silent yet significant role in sustaining the vibrant web of life in the grasslands. Galatas have a rather distinct approach to mealtime compared to their primate cousins. Instead of the usual stand and grab method, these monkeys prefer a laid-back style. They settle down comfortably on their behinds, much like we might sit on a picnic blanket, and then pluck grass at leisure. This seated dining manner not only allows them to gather and eat with efficiency, but also gives them a stable platform to scan the surroundings for threats. So, while it might seem like a quirky trait at first glance, this sitting habit is a clever adaptation for a life of munching on the vast Ethiopian grasslands. The world of the Galata is rich, intricate, and deeply interwoven with the landscapes of the Ethiopian highlands. Every tuft of fur, Every vocalization and even their daily habits paints a story of evolution, adaptation, and survival in one of the planet's most breathtaking terrains.